Welcome to STEM School Algebra Exam Star Questions. Question 1. Simplify fully this uh, expression. So we've got 3a cubed b squared all to the power 2 times 2a squared b all to the power 2 divided by a 8 a to the power 6 b to the power minus 3 all to the power 1 third. So We've got some indices here we need to remember. I uh, better write those things here since we're just doing exam style questions. So I'll start with a to the power of one is basically a to the power just a and a to the power of zero is one. Also if I write a to the power minus one, that is one over a. To the power of one, or if I write um, a to the power of two, that will be one over a to the power of minus two. So I'm just using some examples here. Also, um, we'll be using things like a to the power of n multiplied by m. That will be a to the power of n times m. What else we'll be using here? We'll be using things like um, um, we'll be using eight. So, um, oh, we'll come to that next. What we're going to use, but any question? So, we've got oh three to power of one times all to power of two here. So that'll be three to power of two because there's one here in three. So there's one there. Uh, the power is 1, even though there's just 3, because anything on itself has a power of 1. Uh, so that would be 2 times 3, so that would be a to the power of 6. 2 times 2 there, that would be b to the power of 4. And then I'm multiplying that by, again, 2 times 1 here is 2 to the power of 2. 2 times 2 is a to the power of of 4, 2 times 1 is b to the power of 2. And all divided by, I've got 8 to the power of 1 third, because there's 1 here, 1 third times 1 is 1 third. And I've got um, 8a to the power of 6 over 3. And I've got um b to the power of minus 3 over 3. Right, so I've just expand the brackets. That's what I've done there. After expanding the brackets, I will then simplify a few things here. First of all, I want to simplify 8 one third. Well, First of all, I know what 8 is. 8 is 2 to the power of 3, so I can put that here. Well, that 2 to the power of 3 comes from 2 times 2 times 2. Well, that's 2 to the power of 1 times 2 to the power of 1 times 2 to the power of 1. Same base, you add the power, 2 to the power of 3. Um, so I've got, well, I've got 2 to the power of 3 all to the power of 1 third, which is... 2 to the power of 3 over 3, because 3 times 1 third is 3 over 3, and that would just be 2 to the power of 1, which is 2. So, 8, one thir eight to the power of a third is 2. So, what do I get here? I'll get um, 3 times 3 to the power of 2 is 9, uh, 8 to the power of 6 b to the power of 4 times 4, that's 2 times 2, a to the power of 4, b to the power of 2, uh, all divided by 2, a to the power of 3, b to the power of minus 1, because minus 3 over 3 is minus 1. Now, well, 2 we cancel 4, so I've, I've got 2 there left. And so, and 
9 times 2 is 18 so I've got 18 there now 8 to the power of 6 times 8 to the power of 4 if you have same power so if you have 8 to the power of n times 8 to the power of m that would be 8 to the power of n plus m so that's one rule there law of indices so we're going to apply that here so that will be a to the power of 10 right that's a to the power of 10 um this one is a to the power of 2 by the way it's just so i don't make mistake 6 divided by 3 is 2 a to the power of 10 and then i've got b to the power of 6 so b to the power of 6 over right i've got a squared b to the power minus 1 if you have um, 1 over b to the minus 1 that will be 1 over 1 over b because a to the power minus 1 is 1 over a and i've got that here in the denominator b to the power minus 1 so it's 1 over 1 anything 1 over 1 over something it's something so let's try on a calculator to prove that because uh, it's one thing we should know so i've got a fraction power this i'll put one there and if i come down I'll put another fraction power and uh, fraction um button there i've got one and let's say seven i'll get seven so one over one one over one over something is something right so that's i've got one over one over b so that would be b and that meant i've gone to so this would become and 10 and also i do know that when i'm doing divisions if i do a to the power of n over a to the power of m that will be a to the power of n minus m so i'm going to use these two here in the last part of the question so let me do that here actually so i've got um, 18 uh, 8 to the power of 10 minus 2 is 8 to the power of 8 and b to the power of b to the power of 6 plus b will be b to the power of 7 and that will be the final answer need to remember that 9 is 3 to the power of 2 which is 9 which is 3 times 3 and that's 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of 1 same base you add the power hence 3 to the power of 2 so we just need to rearrange by replacing 9 with 3 squared so that would be 3 squared all to x equals to 3 and that 3 is actually 3 to the power of 1 remember as we said earlier a to the power of 1 is a so now we now have 3 to the power of 2x because 2 times x using the indices component uh, third law which is a to the power of n all to the power of m it becomes a to the power of n m and that will be equal to 3 to the power of 1 because they have the same base 2 to the power of x would then be equal to 1 they have the same base and there's an equal sign between them and therefore the powers will be equal and therefore we got 2x equals 1 x will be equal to divide both sides by 2 1 over 2 Find x when 9 to power 3x times 81 to power 2x minus 1 equals 27. Right. So, there's a clue in this question. And I think the clue is 3. I'm going to make them the same base. 27 is basically 3 times 3 times 3 that's uh, 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of 1 which is 3 same base add the power 3 to the power of 3 
so what law is that that's the first law of indices which i can write here as a to the power of um, n times a to the power of m is a to the power of n plus m now also 3 9 can be written as 3 squared but 81 also can be written as 3 to the power 4 because it's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 and that's 81 3 to the power 1 3 to the power 1 3 to the power 1 3 to the power 4 all times you add the power there's 3 to the power 4 so if I replace substitute all these for their uh, indices values I will get here I'll get um, 3 squared all to the power of 3x times 3 to the power 4 all to the power 2x minus 1 equals 3 to the power of 3 now I need to use the the uh, third law of indices which says that uh, this one here the third law I'm going to use that here to just multiply out the brackets I will get 3 3 times 3 is 6 that's 6x so 3 times 2 times 3x is 2 times 3x is 6x and 3 to the power 4 times 2x is 8x minus 4 times 1 is 4 all equal to 3 to the power of 3 I'm also going to use the first law of indices here uh, which is and the first law which says that uh, uh, I'm going to add them up here so that will be 3 to the power of 6x plus 8x minus 4 will be equal to 3 to the power of 3 which means that um, I could carry on on this side to try and finish up which means that um, I the base if the base are same that's the base here and there's an equal sign between them the powers will be equal so what I need to do is um, equate the powers so that will be 6x plus 8x minus 4 equals 3 I know that uh, 6x plus 8x is 14x minus 4 equals 3 take the 4 to the minus 4 to the other side so that would be uh, 14 is that would be 14x equals 7 therefore x would be 7 over 14 which equals a half so x will be a half we need to show that 6 to the power of a third plus 6 to the power of a third plus 6 to the power of a third equals 2 to the power of p and 3 to the power of q so that means we need to find p and q when we simplify that expression well the way to start in this case will be well 6 is 2 times 3 and that's why I started with 6 is 2 times 3 because 2 and 3 here it's 2 times 3 really 2 to the power of something times 3 to the power of q uh, so I'm going to replace 6 with those so I would start by saying let's start here um, so 6 so that would be 2 times 3 to the power of 1 third plus 2 times 3 to the power of another 1 third plus 6 to the power of, well 2 times 3 to the power of another one third should be equal to two to the power of p and three to the power of q 
Now, because this is still 2 to the power of 1 and 3 to the power of 1, so I need to multiply 1 third by the 1's, so I'm going to get 2 to the power of 1 third times 3 to the power of 1 third plus 2 to the power of 1 third times 3 to the power of 1 third plus 2 to the power of 1 third times 3 to the power of 1 third. So to be quite honest, I don't have to go that length. What could have done is just say, well, 2 to the power of 1 third times 3. Because remember, a plus a plus a equals 3a. So now I've got the same thing three times. So I just have to say, well, so 1, 2, 3, so that's just 3 times 2 to the power of 1 third times 2 to the power of 1 third. And that will be equal to um, that will be equal to um, 2p 3 to the power of q. Now, now, by the way, that's 3. 3 to the power of 1 third. So now what I need to do is uh, just finish up the... The 3 is to the power of 1. So I've got 2 to the power of 1 third times 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of 1 third. Now, 1 plus 1 third is 1 over 1 plus 1 third. All I need to do is make them the same denominator. So that will be 3 over 3 plus 1 third. And that will give me 3 plus 1 over 3. And that is 4 over 3. So the power here, because they have the same base, I add the power using the um, indices uh, first law, which is a to the power of n times a to the power of m equals a to the power of n plus m. So that's what I'm doing here. And that will be 2 to the power of p, 3 to the power of q. Now, 2 to the power of 1 third times 3 to the power of 4 over 3 be equal to 2 to the power of p and 3 to the power of q. So my p is 1 third and q is 4 over 3. Question 4. We are to express the bracket squared in the form of a into bra open bracket b plus root c close bracket where a b and c are integers 3 root 5 minus 5 root 3 times 3 root 5 minus 5 root 3 so what i need to do is take the first part and multiply with the first part of the second bracket and take the first part again and multiply it by the second part here and and then I need to take that one here and multiply it by that and then take that and multiply it by that so that's what I'm going to do now in expanding the brackets so double bracket expansion so I have uh, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times root 5 times root 5 from the law of indices root a times root a equals a. So root 5 times root 5 is a. So 9 times 5 is 45. And I've got 3 
root 5 times minus 5 root 3. Root A times root of B is root A times B. So that would be minus 3 times 5 is 15, so that's 15. Root, root 5 times root 3 uh, is root 15. So that's 15 there. And then I'm doing the second one. Minus 5 root 3 times 3 root 5 is again minus 15 root 15. Minus 5 root 3 times minus 5 root 3 is plus 25 times 3 which is 75. So I get 75 there. So I get 45 minus 30 root 15 plus 75, which gives me 120 minus 30 root 15. And I can now take 30 out as a common factor. I get 40 minus root 15. Um, that's 1 root 15. So A equals 30, B equals 40, and C equals 15.